If I would count all the blessings from the storehouse above, I simply ask for the favor of Him beyond mortal king, and I'm sure He are on Psalms 71. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness, and cause me to escape, incline thy ear unto me, and save me. Be thou my strong inhabitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given uh, commandments to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O God, out of the hands of the wicked, out of the hands of the unrighteous and the cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my, my trust from my youth. But thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels, my praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with, with thy presence and with thy honor all the day. Cause me not to off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that there is adversary to my soul. Let them be converted with the reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. <clears throat> but I will hope continually, and I will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth my righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the number thereof, and I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of of thy righteousness, even thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also, when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have showed thy strength unto the generation and the power to every one that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high, who has done great things, O God, who is like unto thee, thou which hast showed me great and sore trouble, shake, quickens me again, and shalt bring me up again from the depth of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness, and comfort me on every side. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God. Until thee will I sing with the harp, O thou Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought into shame that seek my hurt. All right, we're on uh, 72. Give the king thy judgment, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness. 
He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall he uh, fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass as sh showers that watered the earth. Look here. Yeah, they had lawnmowers back then. Okay. All right. In this day, in his days shall the righteous flourish and abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall have dominion also from the sea to sea and from the river unto the end of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall blow before him and his enemies shall lick the dust. The king of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The king of Sh Sheba and Sheba of Seba of Sheba and Seba shall offer gift. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall s serve him, for he shall deliver. The needy when he crieth, the poor also, and him that hath no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and perish, let's see, procruce shall their blood be in his sight. Precious, okay, precious. Sorry about that. Okay. And he shall live, and to him to him shall give him the gold of Sheba. Prayers also shall he make for him continue, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains, the fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and thy day of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever, his name shall be continually as long as the sun, and man shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever, and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. The prayer of David, the son of Jess, are ended. Alright, we're on 73. Truly, God is good to Israel, even to such as are of clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperously of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plurged like other men. Therefore, pride can pass them about as chains. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly, continually, continually oppression. They speak lawfully. They set their mouth against the heaven, and their tongue walk us through the earth. Therefore his people returneth hither, and water a full cup or wrung out wrung out to them. And they say, How doeth God know? And is their knowledge in the most high? Behold, they are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in inaccuracy. For all the day long have I been purged and chastised every morning. Okay, I thought I had it, but I guess I didn't. 
If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offer again the generation of my children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I the end. Surely thou didst set them in a slippery place, thou canst them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with tor terrorist as a dream. When one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their images. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was plucked in my ruins. So foolish was I, ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I continue with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou hast guided me with thy counsel, and afterwards received me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides thee. I agree with that. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart, and my portion for ever. <clears throat> for lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all thy works. Alright, let's look at 74. O oh God, why hast thou cast us off forever? Why doeth thy anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember thy congregation, which thou hast per, uh, purchased of old, the rod of thy inheritance, which thou hast redeemed, this Mount Zion, wherein thou dwellest. Lift up thy feet unto the perpetual destructions, even all that the enemy had done wickedly in the sanctuary. Thy enemy wore in the midst of the congregation. They set up their ensigns for signs. A man was famous according as he had lifted up an axe upon the thick tree. But now they break down the curves, carved work thereof at one with an axe and a hammer. They have cast fire into the, thy sanctuary. They have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of the name of thy name to the ground. They say in their heart, Let us destroy them together. They have burned up all the synagogue of God in the land. We see not our sign. There is no more any prophet, neither is there among us any that knoweth how long. O God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever? Why withdrawest thou hand, even the right hand, pluck it out of thy bosom? For God is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou doest divide the sea by the strength. Thou breakest the head, heads of the dragons in the waters. Thou breakest the head of Leviathan in pieces, and givest him to the meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. Thou hast cleaved the foundation and the flood. Thou driest up the, the mighty rivers. The day is thine, the night also is thine. Thou hast prepared the light and the sun. Thou hast set all the borders of the earth. Thou hast made summer and winter. Remember this, that the enemy have reproached, O Lord, and that the foolish people have blasphemed thy name. O deliver not the soul of thy, of thy turtle dove and to the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the congregation of thy poor forever. Have respect unto the covenant. For the dark place of the earth are full of the inhabitants of, soul, of cruelty. 
O oh, let not the oppressed return to shame. Let the poor and the needy praise thy name. Arise, O oh God, plead thy own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproached thee daily. Forget not the voice of thy enemy. The triumph of the rise up against thee. Increase continually. All right, we're going to read 75. Unto thee, O God, <clears throat> do we give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks, for that thy name is near thy wondrous works declared. When I shall receive the congregation, I will ju judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants there are, are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it, Selah. I said unto the fools, Deal not foolishly, and do the wicked. Lift not up thy horn. Let, lift not, not up your horn on high. Speak not with stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set up, up another. For in the land of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth it out the same. But the dregs thereof, and the wicked of the earth shall bring them out, and drink them. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will be cut off. Also will I cut off. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Alright, we're going to come on to 76 next time. Thank you for listening. May God richly bless you. Hugs and kisses. Because all fear is gone Because I know Who holds a future And life is worth believing Just because of me And then one day I'll cross that river I'll find life's fine No more pain And then as death Gives way to fear